Let me ask you this. What, um, if, if, if anything, when, since, since the time you've been practicing and whatnot, any misses that stand out? A certain, a certain shot shape? Just sometimes it just felt hit solid. Yeah, the contact. Um, is it a little bit more like just a little, like a couple grooves, like a low on the club face? Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Let's get a couple of these here. Like, hello perfect takeaway, hello perfect set position. That is just about as good as it gets right there. Now, here's the one thing I'm gonna get on you about a little bit, the, uh, the weight distribution in the setup, okay? If we look at where the hip joint is, you know, right in the middle of the hips there, it wants to sit back a little bit. I would just get up a little bit more over the golf ball. Here's the good news about that. That could be it by itself as to why some of that contact isn't as consistent as you'd like it. So if we were just to get a little bit more over the golf ball, it will put your center much more on top of it, helping you strike down a little bit more, okay? Create a little bit more space underneath you as well to swing the golf club. But I will tell you this. I love, love this beautiful takeaway and set position. Now, if you just kept that right elbow down and turned to the top and took away any of that right there, you know, because I see you can always, you always can, you can trim that out of there just by, you know, when you're in this position here, this is a perfect set position. Really, if your arms stay attached to your turn, the club's gonna be right on plan at the top. But I will say this in all fairness, typically when golfers sit back a little bit, even with a good set position, it restricts the turn and a lot of times what happens is the arms will get a little extra lifty to the top. Does that make sense? So, you know, if I stand up right here, just dead straight, right? I really have freedom in my hips, like I really do. If I kind of sit back here, I kind of get locked up, right? And if I get locked up, I, I can't move my body um, as much to get the arms up to the top of my swing. And that's when the hands and arms will get a little bit extra. And if you watch this, it actually gets to an incredibly great position. I mean, like right here, if we just played from right here, guys, we'd be, you know, we'd be just fine. Um, but the crossing the line a little bit at the top is just the independent movement from the wrist, the club, and the, and, and the arms, what, and whatnot. So let's just let's trim that out. Um, Go-to drills for you, things I love to see you do. And really, um, you really couldn't do enough of this one because it really is. I probably, and you already know it's coming probably because I've probably told you a hundred times in the past before. But just the... Um, Set go, right? Set turn. Set turn and go. And I mean, even for me, I just, I said, first swing of the day, I felt so good just because it felt so connected. Um, and it really, it really tackles the problem area. So you get that club in this position, boom, a nice way to check your hips. Um, I, I like this one. I, I once had a college player who I told him, hey, I want your hip joint more over your ankle. And he started doing this one thing, and I'm like, wow, like, I really like that. Here's what he did. He'd get in there like this to the golf ball. You see, you see what I did? Just drawing that line that I always draw my players to make sure that hip stays over the ankle and doesn't sit back. So, kind of, you know, a simple, simple, simple process right now. We get a little bit more over it with the lower body. When we flex, we don't flex sitting back onto the, you know, the chair or whatever. We flex our legs like an accordion, just more straight down, right? So when I flex, I'm just, I'm almost balancing my feet. Now, something that is good for Ash and good for you, she's been doing this real well, and, and you do well most of the time as well. When I start out here, and I were to tilt from my hips right here, I become very, very, very toe heavy. So you see that line on my shoe, all the weight gets to be in front of that. Now watch this, when I flex downward, that weight move from here to more towards the balls of my feet and towards my laces, which really balanced me. Because I have 0% right here into my heel, and then right here, okay. It went from being 90%, 10% to 90%, you know, and then 10% right back there. You know, it just, it, it, it really does balance me a lot better. So just hop in there, go through the process, just like I had your sister doing with her process. Yours is, just, yours is pretty easy, actually. Um, over it with lower body. Same exact takeaway set position. And let's just see if we can not move those arms to the top by, the, by themselves. 
um, that right there. I just love when I, I love when that happens, by the way. Your sister did the same thing. You did the same thing this morning where I run them through the process and then they come back and they make the best swing of the day by far. So that's on, I mean, you guys are just, you know, fantastic when it comes to that. The one thing I want to remind you is you, you two know at this point your, your checkpoints. Like you both, you both know. There's, there's, the, there's the fine tuning stuff that like, I don't expect you sometimes to know that the hip bump's gonna help you make a deeper turn, Ash. You know, that's, that's my job for you. But for, for, for hips over ankles, for shoulders past toes, those you know, ball position, those key fundamentals in the setup, you know, we, 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 can, we can all be a little better about that, okay? Help each other out with that too because that's something that we can easily pick up on camera. But that was a great swing, Brianna, really good. I'm really proud of her. She's been coming on really strong here in the last uh, six months. She's playing great golf. That one wasn't quite as tight at the top, uh, Brianna, as a previous. You know, the one before was a little bit shorter with the arms. You got through it nicely, but just a little bit firmer at the top. You, you know what's funny, guys? I had, a, I had a little saying when I was younger. Loose and long leads to left. That was always something at me at the top that always lost the club face through impact and the ball went left, but I kept it shorter and tighter. Like that. Oh, awesome. So if we looked on film back at those last three swings, first one and that one looked exactly the same. Club was right here. A little more up to the, a little more up to the sky, which for a nine iron is a good thing. And the ones that were not good or not as good, a little bit of that. Go back half, go back halfway, Brian. I was wanting to go back to your good setup, set position because you had that set position so nice right now. Yeah, Mr. Park, go back around there. So I'll show you. I'll give you. I'm gonna put her in a perfect spot right here, okay. just so you can see this. So go ahead and set. Yeah, yeah. And then all you should do is just keep it right there and turn. See that right there? That would be all that she would need to really get through that golf ball correctly. There you go. Yeah, I love that right there. And see how it kind of feels like that elbow kind of just stays right on the body. It's really nice for you. Thanks, Kyle. Good, good, that's fine. I know you didn't catch it perfect, but that was a great, like, great, great lines right there. It was fantastic. Yeah, you know what, though? I'll tell you right now, all, the, all, the, all those, uh, those misses, though, so much straighter when it's tighter at the top. I would really just make sure that you just control the pace of the swing. You have such a smooth takeaway, and if you just continue that smooth pace right to this position that you know is correct, Something that you memorize, maybe it's off the right side of your ear, you know, maybe it's shoulder high. Every time I think that I'm taking it shoulder high, I look at it on film and guess where it is. It's like, you know, up here. But if I think I'm taking it this high, then it's way up there. Maybe thinking a frame lower than you actually want to be at the top, right? We know we want the club to be up here. Just right now, try to just shrink it up a little bit. It will actually allow you to be more aggressive through impact. Mm -hmm. Just a winner. Wow, what a good swing that was. Just love that move through impact. I mean, Brianna, I'll be honest with you. Like, I'm, I looked at that video. Your set position takeaway, all that is so good. And even on the downswing, even though it gets a little bit long loose at the top, it comes down in some great spots. So all I would tell you is, if you can really sync up the top of the swing and keep the rhythm consistent, it's going to be great. Just a, just a nice count. One, two. One, two, and have that familiar spot that you're trying to get to every single time to where it feels just a little bit more solid. There's no extra little dangle of the golf club. And you let it go right through there. Mm -hmm. You're gonna hit a lot of straight shots, I'm gonna tell you. Give me one more good one like that, and then we'll get the other club out, but setup looks better too. Tall on the legs, flex down, firm to the top. Beautiful. Setup looks awesome right there. Great. Good, good. And you know what? I, I, I want you to know I'm never, ever, ever completely bothered by seeing the club a little bit across. I just don't like when it's across and 
like long, you know what I mean? Because it's, like, it's a little bit loose. It's funny how with these two I can, I talk a little in the beginning and sometimes I can be very quiet for a while because they really do a nice job of doing what I ask them. It's, you know, it's always funny, you guys, I have some students, you know, where it's like, you'll hear me like ev before every single swing, I'm reminding them because I'm like, I just don't have that full confidence that they're gonna nail it right away. So I gotta say it over and over and over. But man, let me tell you, Brianna, like I love the fact that you have not missed one setup since we talked about it. Just make sure you stay controlled at the top of your swing and we are good. Oh, nice. Get a longer club out for me. Man, that's a nice swing, Brianna. Love the move through the golf ball. Really, really good. Let's get a face on view because I really like the way you're swinging through that golf ball. Man, that is pretty. Let's take a look at this, Brianna. This is like the best and most relaxed that setup has looked. I, I just love this setup right here from the face on. Like that, that's just textbook to me, just the way the head is loaded just right behind the golf ball, tiny spine angle, hips set forward. I mean, really, really good right here. This is perfect. Notice how you stay so much more level these days too. You don't nearly drop like you used to. It's so much better. Yeah, and you know what I'll tell you? Lower clubs, like the nine iron pitching wedge, sand wedge, swinging around your head, meaning on the left side, stay on the left side. With the longer clubs, you make a great load behind the golf ball. Feel like I'm putting that club up against your head and maintain behind that golf ball in the transition, okay? So if you found that you were just getting any like crummy contact, a lot of times it's a, just, we remember we used to work on this a lot, a little bit of that lateral movement forward before the golf club gets down to the golf ball. But um, I, I don't see you making that mistake right now. I just can project that with the longer clubs. If you're missing them a little bit, just focus on keeping that weight back a little bit longer, okay? But it's great. I think you're doing a great job.